In today's ever technologically advancing world, we are living at the speed of science. And we need to educate our students to be scientifically literate, ready to ask questions, define problems, investigate, analyze data, construct explanations and design solutions, ready to take on the future. We want to have lots of different people pursue science and engineering careers because their different backgrounds and different perspectives on things moves us forward in terms of our understanding, in terms of what we can do, in terms of our technology. The Next Generation Science Standards provide an important opportunity to improve not only science education, but also student achievement, reflecting a new vision for American science education, creating a context for learning, comprehending the core knowledge and ideas, and engaging in scientific and engineering practices helps to prepare students for broader understanding and deeper levels of scientific and engineering investigation later on in high school, college, and beyond. I'm encouraged that the tripartite organization of the NGSS with uh, its core ideas and then those practices that are engineering and science, in addition to the cross-cutting uh, concepts, really start to imply that design is very important. By states, for states. The Next Generation Science Standards were developed by a team of experts and stakeholders in science and engineering, K-12 and higher education, and industry in an open, collaborative, state-led process. As the team lead, I coordinate the activities that go along with reviewing the standards in GSS as they come out, maintaining communication with our stakeholders to keep them abreast of um, times when there will be information released about the project. The standards are internationally benchmarked against countries whose students perform well in math and science. If we have a common definition of what it means to be prepared, what's our responsibility to prepare students, what are we responsible to offer our children as opportunities? And these standards um, help us paint that picture. Implementing improved K-12 science standards will better prepare high school graduates to succeed in college and careers. Enabling employers to hire workers with strong science-based knowledge and skills, critical thinking, and inquiry-based problem solving. Educating students for the future. Educating students at the speed of science. The next generation science standards. For states, by states. Welcome to the introduction to the Next Generation Science Standards. Today we're going to look at the research, resources, and website that accompany the document. The Next Generation Science Standards is a collaboration between the National Research Council, the National Science Teachers Association, ACHIEVE, the Council of State Science Supervision, and 26 lead states along with multiple public reviews. The text and documents seen here combine 30 plus years of science education research and are combined together in a document called the Frameworks for K-12 Science Education. A framework for K-12 science education is the backbone to the Next Generation Science Standards. We're going to go to the Next Gen website, www.nextgenscience.org, because on this particular website, you can download the frameworks for free. You'll see a series of tabs up at the top that allow you to go different places within the website. We're going to start here at About the Development. I'm going to click, I'm going to click on About the Development, and there is a drop-down menu that I don't think you can see in the video, but the second part of the drop-down menu says Framework. The menu looks identical to this when you click on that on your computer. I'm going to take you to the bottom of this particular page because this is one of the easiest places to get to actually download the framework for free. If you click the Here button, it brings you to the National Academies Press, which is the location which you can download the frameworks. You can see that you can read it download it to your favorite tablet or computer, or purchase it on paperback. Please do note that it is a 400-page document or so, and it's probably not ideal to print. 
The frameworks divide science education into three main components. The first is eight science and engineering practices. The second are the seven cross-cutting concepts. And the third are the disciplinary core ideas or content broken down into physical, life, earth and space, engineering, technology, and applications of science. These are actually called the three dimensions of science and can be found on pages 29 through 35 in the frameworks themselves. Notice the Mobius strip at the right. Practices, content, and cross-cutting concepts are all considered to be taught or learned together for best practice in science. There are a couple of nice handouts that could be copied and printed for reference on the three dimensions of frameworks. One is box S1 in the frameworks itself, and another is located on the NSTA website. NSTA, of course, is the National Science Teachers Association, nsta.org. When it loads here, there's a, a very nice icon at the top right to remind you that the Next Generation Science Standards are available, and we're going to click on that and open a series of helpful resources for the Next Generation Science Standards. To access them in a table of contents like form, we're going to click right here on where it says View the Next Generation Science Standards and Supporting Materials from the NSTA. As this loads, what you will see is, a, a, as I mentioned, a table of contents of sorts to help to access that. What we're going to do is we're going to look way right here at the three dimensions of the NGSS. I'm going to, going to click on the color version and it shows up as in blue the science and engineering practices. Scroll down in orange the disciplinary core ideas and in green the cross-cutting concepts. This one is a little bit more in depth and so it's a nice back-to-back -back handout to have on hand as well. The last place I'd like to take you to look at some information on the three dimensions of the frameworks is the NextGen website one more time, nextgenscience.org. We're going to head there and we're going to click again on the About the Development section and it may not show up here but it's the third one down called the Three Dimensions and you'll see that Mobius strip one more time. You can look over the practices, cross-cutting concepts, and disciplinary core ideas or DCIs here as well. We're going to look at the bottom here where you can click on the one of the DCIs. For instance, if I click on physical science here, it will take me directly to the frameworks again and more information on that particular DCI within the frameworks itself. I'd now like to take you into the website itself. You should probably be there already, but if not, for the last time, it is nextgenscience.org. If you are already currently at the site, you can access the homepage or the next generation icon will both take you back to that original uh, front, front page to the website. There are three places to access the standards themselves. Each of these three locations allows you to get to the exact same page. And I'd like to take you to that page that has the standards as well as the appendices, which are very important to the next generation science standards. There are a few different ways uh, to look at those standards. You can click on uh, arranged by disciplinary core idea or by topic. Either one gets you the same information. However, Michigan has chosen the topic view. Another way that you can look at the standards after searching within either one of those two items, you can also look at the printer friendly version and click on the ones that you'd like to print out for your own reference within a classroom or in a, a professional development setting. The, what I'd like to do now is take you also through 
the appendices, and each of the appendices are located here at the left. The left-hand side appendices go through in any number of items, including conceptual shifts, response to the public drafts, there were at least two public response pieces, college and career readiness, all standards, all students, which goes through the uh, individual uh, subgroups, uh, disciplinary core ideas, science and engineering practices, cross-cutting concepts, nature of science, engineering design, science technology and the environment, middle school course mapping and high school mapping, which allows you to give suggestions for how you might build courses in middle and high school. And then, of course, probably the two most uh, probably the two most uh, look, sought after pieces are the connections to the mathematics and uh, literacy within the subject of science. And the Common Core state standards are linked within this document as well. These become a very handy tool as you go into these standards to get more information and to make better connections as well as finding out about the purpose behind a lot of the set of standards that we have here. This concludes the introduction to the Next Generation Science Standards module. In future modules, you will look at how to read the science standards in more depth, as well as how to use the appendices to help in science education. Good luck on this new endeavor.